<clears throat> Hello, Hello, everybody. I am. We are at left and right, and I am Phantom Corgi Butts. And I'm Larka Nightingale. And we are returning to Dream Daddy. We're in the middle of our date with Matt. It's we were going sold some great. oregano. Mm hmm. It was dope. So <laughs> Did we just get hooked on heroin? No, so no. we are going to continue. We are now talking about Matt's dead wife. Well, baby mama. I don't know if they were married. Yeah. They were on a tour, and yeah. So I read that. Mm hmm. Wow, that seems like a life some people can only dream of. It was, and it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So when she became pregnant with Carmencita, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in and right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, she died before it opened. I'm... I'm gonna cry. So sorry. Don't be. <laughs> oh, man! I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I've told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Oh, I'm out of practice. Starts playing fucking Mozart. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. You know, not my 50s cover band. <laughs> Have you heard of us? <laughs> oh, yeah? I fronted the hottest seven piece SK. Um, I think it's FKA band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had to offer. Hey. No way. You you had. A, I think it's a ska. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know. You had a, you had a that phase. Phase? Ska never dies. Hey. Except for. Communist Manifesto who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Oh. Give me some of that two-tone look. Is this gonna be a freaking like mini a game? Because ghost. I, it's been, it's been also been a while for me. Oh, oh man, let's see if I still got it. I sit down at the piano. Go to the classic stick to stick to your roots. Stick to the roots. Hey, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm playing ska. Oh. Wait, that was just smoke in the water. Matt, I've forgotten how to play. <clears throat> oh, sorry. The deep purple is always appreciated, nonetheless. Alright, buddy, can you top that? I, uh, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. No, I'm... It's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it. Matt, you just sat through a butchered version of deep purple smoke on the water. How much worse can it be? Matt stares at the piano for a second. Hey. Okay. I- Oh! <laughs> Matt closes his eyes and runs his fingers over the keys. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. If I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano in a long time, I would have never have guessed. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I've never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This is so cool. Matt finishes the song and finally opens his eyes. How was that? That was amazing. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> C come on, man. That was a killer. Are you going to pull that out for the open mic night? Oh, no. I never played at those. Well, why not? You're really good. It's just... I just don't do it anymore. I just don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I can sense that Matt's getting uncomfortable at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. All right, man. But I hope you know how beautiful your music is. <sighs> uh, I don't know if I should. <laughs> I don't know if I should. <laughs> Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide that I need to go to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Let's never tell anyone about the oregano, okay? Deal. Wait. Can I tell my doctor? I don't know anything about the health effects of smoking oregano, and... I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Night, dude. I smile. Night. <laughs> I walk inside. That was the second date. Third date, something's gonna happen. I walk inside, and the house is dark. Save for the... Silver, oh, uh, not silver, sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Huh. I knock lightly on the door and I enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera editing her photos. Hey, Amanda! Amanda swivels around in her chair to face me and slumps down. Hmm. What smells like pizza? Why does it smell like a pizza parlor in here? What? N nothing! So, what's up? Dad, I'm hungry. Whoa! Wait, no. Hi, hungry! Hey. No! I'm dead! <laughs> Amanda collapses on the floor. I promised myself I'd never let I'd never let it come to this. Sorry, kiddo, you set it up. I spike it down. 
<laughs> You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. <laughs> I just imagine it's like on the floor. Ooh, dramatic. Amanda and I boil pasta and heat up some sauce in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat up sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it oh. on fire. How was the record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? Mm. No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. Yeah. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah. I brought it up that he should play at the open mic night that's happening in his coffee shop, but he just kind of got weird about it. Yeah. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band. Not punk band. 50s cover band. Mm -hmm. And play a couple tunes in there. Huh. Yeah, let me break out my, my glockenspiel. Hey. Yeah. I think I only know hot cross buns, but we can work off the, the chord progression. Let's do it. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I am a house hunter. <laughs> They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who is crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. They know they can paint the walls of their house in any color they want, right? Matt's song was stuck in my head all night. Ah! Never give up. Never remember. <laughs> <laughs> Day complete! What rank did we get? Got an A. It's, I don't think that's the highest, though. I don't care, but we got an yeah, A. Yeah, but it's better than we had the first date. <laughs> Oregano! <laughs> <laughs> we can have a lot of family fun. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn up all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda? The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strange. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> in the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Should we leave her alone? <sighs> I want to be there for her. I'll let you decide. Um... I want to be involved in her life. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away. I don't really want to... Eh. Mm. Okay, I'll do it, like... One more time. Just that one more time. <laughs> and the third time, I'll, I'll drop it. Amanda... Aww. Get out! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, well, there was no third time. I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear crying again. Wow, I made many mistakes as a parent. <laughs> what has her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of... After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. But two minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline to the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. I should apologize. I'm an ass. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Ugh. So, anything big going on at school today? That weather, though. Any new memes? <laughs> no. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster level up, level lever up and takes her still free freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Fuck. <laughs> then takes her back. Come back right now! <laughs> I need to solve this. Uh fuck. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen and look at the picture of Amanda and I are hanging on the wall. I ended up teaching her to ride a bike. Oh, today we were- Fandom was just trying to teach me how to ride a bike. We yeah. got kicked out of the parking lot we were in. Bullshit. Apparently it was private, but there were no gates or no sign indicating that it was. Anyways, face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how under- I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall and scrape her knee, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages, and I wanted to keep trying. 
If I put the bike away, she stood in the middle of, of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream, and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided if I forced her, forced her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I started rummaging around for ingredients. I'm gonna make, um, did I make her something? I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline for her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin? What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I, I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I, I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So, so just, whatever it is, you don't have to tell me, and if you don't want to. But whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Dad. It took me all. <laughs> Sorry you're sad, but I support- Oh, that's so cute! It took me a really long time to make because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around, sad, and had to start over, and... Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. It's strawberry, and then it gives me a big ol' hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve up some- Ugh, cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing, I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Oh. I guess I should start from the top. So, oh jeez. <laughs> you know how Emma R is going to the fancy art school in California, right? Emma R. Uh... Shit, I don't remember. I think she's the other one. <laughs> the other mm -hmm. one? I guess you're not technically wrong. <laughs> it's good to have fallbacks like that one. Hmm. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. that one of Emma's... that both of Emma's... Grace and... Noah all went to the party at Mackenzie F's on the same night. They told me they were busy studying Calc AB final... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. You, you struggled there for a second, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. So another important piece of information is... Uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah, and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa. I had... No idea. That's so but fucking obvious, I, but I, okay. I, I really did. No, 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 I gotta do it again. Whoa. Wait, wait, what? Whoa. I had no idea. Definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. <laughs> so are you. I learned from the worst. Uh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept quiet and going about my business. And then decides. And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall and after not texting me back for like two hours even though none of them were none of them put their phones down for more than sixty seconds, they all say they're busy, like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? We're about, we're all out of chips and I'm really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Sorry. Aww. So I go to the mall anyway to get to the to go to the food court. And who do I see there? But Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss! What a bitch! No! <laughs> yes! I know! So I storm over there, and I'm like, hey! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt, because of course she, she does, and Emma R is just like, glares at me. Grace. Grace, nothing's coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the. And she put them into. I don't remember. Hmm. No, Dad, please stick with me. Grace is the one nobody likes, or I guess that's me now. But anyway, no, I hear an echo. Do you hear an echo? A little. I hear an echo. No, no. But anybody, anyway, nobody will say anything, and I'm just like, you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, might I add, which only further con con 
contributed to the shitty day and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they even why they've been so weird and i wrote another one to mr asking how long the noah thing's been going on and sorry i know this is a lot for you still following um i'm following it yeah what did she say oh okay get a load of this mr says you know what let me just read it to you Amanda pulls out her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text hmm. messages. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I try my hardest to hmm. be supportive. They were dating in secret for like months. So I told her that she's being really ter- a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on on read. And then that's fucked up. Yeah. You don't just leave someone on Wait, read. left me on read. What's that? Oh, like she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there's a read. There's there are read receipts. I I don't know what read re- receipts are, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while this is ha- all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she she's at least being kind kind of reasonable and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am and everybody and stuff Aww. and then out of nowhere Noah texts Noah text me and like how could you say that about me and I'm like say what about you he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of alright I think you lost me at the screenshots but that definitely sounds Aww. bad there's so much more but honestly it's just really stupid teenager stuff the bottom line is that everybody dropped me half of my grade hates me and now I have no friends you can be friends with the weird, creepy dude across the way. Yes. What's his name? Lucian? Befriend Ernest. <laughs> Put him straight. Amanda, I'm sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but <sighs> Emma R has been there since dad, aww, since dad died. I can't believe she, she would just stab me in the back So how old that. was she? She was little. Um, oh, a, yeah, I guess a kid. Because mm-hmm. I always thought it was like when she was a baby. She might have been a little bit. I feel like more like a toddler. Yeah. Enough where she, I guess she can uh, like, somewhat remember it. Like maybe six, seven, somewhere in there. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like they sold this, but I don't remember. Yeah. It's been a long time. <clears throat> I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so yeah, long. Yeah, that's gotta hurt the most. Yeah, that's annoying. The man stabs at the remnants of her cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why didn't everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. And as mad as I am that every, everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected. I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Anyways, that's it. That's a whole s- sordid tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know, it's pretty dumb. It's not dumb. Yeah, I mean, because... I know some things are a little overreactive, but I would be mad, too, if I was like, hey, I like this dude, and then you go out and fucking... Uh-huh. Especially, like, if people... Like, it's not, like, just those situations, but it, then you can think to, like, I thought we were friends, you, but you lied to me. That's I actually had thing. a somewhat similar situation mm-hmm. to this happen to me in eighth yeah. grade, because I liked someone. I only told, like, one person. She told me to say that I liked him, but then he ended up liking her. They liked each other. I think they dated for, like, two minutes, and it was just... And then there was like a war. I don't want to say names because it was weird. And it was like eighth grade. I was about to say names, but then I was like, you know I, what I'm talking. You remember who I'm talking I about? I somewhat remember, but like, you, it's been a really long ass time since you even mentioned them. Yeah, it's so been a while. Their faces are very. I want to eat this cat grass. Mm-hmm. You think I'll die? <laughs> Anyways, do you think I'll die if I eat this? It's not dumb. Do you think I'll die if I eat this? And that's all the time we have for this episode. So, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is getting juicy. Comment your sad, dejected Do friend tales. Do you think tales. this is stupid? I mean, it's kind of one thing to say for us, because we're still kind of in the same age group as as her. But, you know, we're still young. We we can kind of understand. Hey, what, are, what are your comments about Amanda's problem? Do you think she's overreacting? Have you been in a situation like this? Mm-hmm. Share in the comments down 